Hello and welcome to another video. I said in the last video I was going to mention the two sturgeon I'd be getting shortly. I've now purchased them sturgeon and I'm going to put this video together just to prove to go over the varieties of sturgeon I've purchased and me adding them to the pond. This here is the first sturgeon. This is a uh, albino sterlet at around 19 inches. With it being a sterlet, it won't get to the same sizes of my other sturgeon, so sturgeon uh, sterlets will probably max out at around three foot. With this being an albino, it probably won't achieve the same size as a regular coloured one either. So, my previous one I did have, this is kind of replacing the one I'd lost last year, it jumped out of the pond unfortunately. That one when it came out, I believe, was around 26 to 27 inches. So it's going to be a few years before this one gets to a size to replace that one, but it's got about another 10 inch to put on before it gets to a similar size of the one that I lost. So This sturgeon should be okay eating the same side pellets as the what I'm already feeding, which is the 6mm, but I'm also getting some 3mm just in case, because the other sturgeon I'm about to show you is, eating, is smaller than this, so will require the smaller pellets. The last white albino one I had did take around five years to reach the kind of size it did, so I expect this to really be quite slow and only put a few inches on each year, if that really. We'll see though, we'll put it on the high protein food, it's on the 49% food now and we'll give it a few seasons and we'll see how it does, hopefully it'll put on the weight quite quickly. From what I've been told it's not been eating particularly a lot this year, the last few months while it's been at MF Aquatics, they've just been kind of ticking them over so he doesn't want them to grow too much while he's got them. So. Hopefully we'll put on some good size quite quickly and we'll be looking bigger soon. Right, we'll put this guy in the pond then and we'll show you the next one. This is the second sturgeon I bought. This is a Stellata sturgeon to around 15 to 16 inch. Stellatas stand out quite a lot compared to diamonds because the nose makes up around a quarter of the body length and the coloured flutes down the body generally stay with them as they get bigger unlike diamonds that tend to fade so I'd expect when this gets bigger to have a similar coloration to what it does, to what it does now more slender in body though than a diamond don't pack on as much weight so a three foot uh, stellatus compared to a three foot diamond would weigh significantly less for this reason as well with a smaller mouth diameter and the fact this guy's not as big I will only uh, be feeding, I've got three, three millimetre pellets in specifically for this guy, see how he go does. Again, this is a replacement for unfortunately, this is the largest I lost. Um, I didn't have it very long actually, I bought one at around two and a half feet. And unfortunately, within a few months of being in the pond, it had some kind of deformity with its abdomen. And ended up bending, um, when the only when the weather got cold, ended up bending and sitting on the bottom in a U shape. As soon as the temperature warmed up, he straightened out and swam around the pond like normal. Now this was before I had a cover on my skimmer and I believe it was one night he got stuck in the skimmer and although I caught him the next morning and released him from the skimmer when he got trapped he was never the same again in cold weather. He survived two winters and literally he'd sit there on the bottom all winter upside down on his side and then as soon as the temperature picked up again he'd swim around and eat again but he, he did this for three years and then unfortunately one year he, he did pass away and um, since then I put a cover on the on the skimmer so that can't happen again but that's how I lost uh, my last Stellata so this is a replacement for that again I bought that one at two and a half feet so this one's got again well over uh, this has got nearly double in length to just match the size of the other one I brought that so um, a good few years but hopefully hopefully in a few years time we'll be uh, able to eat the six millimeter pellets just like all the others but If you've got any more questions or anything you want to answer in, just drop me a message, I can give you some more of the Pacifics. The main the main things I want to mainly mention was the differences between this and the diamond. Because they are relatively similar in some respects, but obviously different in others. This takes me uh, varieties of now quite up now. I've got a Siberian, a Stellatus, a diamond, an albino sterlet. And I've got the white sturgeon in there, so there's only a few I'm missing now. 
I'd like to get an Atlantic at some point, but they're quite hard to get hold of. And I have seen a few on the market, a few albino diamonds, but not very many. So that would be something that might interest me. I know you can get lake sturgeon as well, which is another one. I've not really looked into very much, but we'll see how we go. I like to have a nice variety. I might pair up some of them if, if I like this one a lot. When it gets a bit bigger, I might end up having two stellatus because they are quite a bit more active than some of the other varieties. And will, as you can tell, swim around the edge. He'll be doing this around the pond the whole time. So uh, he, don't, he doesn't sit on the bottom, not a bit like the Siberian might. Right now, it's a wet and miserable day, as you can probably tell. <laughs> but um, they're in the pond now. Unfortunately, I've got lots of froth again. The, uh, the system around there, as you can tell, it's the diameter of the pipe I've used to catch the froth, which isn't big enough. It's just coming over the top of it. So I, I'm going to tackle that over the winter and get to try and make that a bit better, try and stop some of the froth. It's also the water level's a bit lower at the minute, so it's making a bit more than usual. Well, they're in there, so you might not be able to see the, uh, the little stellatus because it being such a big pond and he's so little. It, it, make, it really gives you an appreciation to just how big the big cup and sturgeon in here are. There we go, that was a diamond that just swam past. When you put in a fish that ordinarily, or used to be when I was in the hobby a few years ago, seemed quite big when you would get your fish over a foot long, but as I said, I've just put in nearly a 19 inch albino and you put the swims extra alongside some of the others in here and it's absolutely dwarfed, which is quite scary just how big some of the other guys in here have got there. I wasn't, I wasn't convinced it was over the four foot mark now, but I've, put, I've measured them and put them in, and now being able to see the size of them, I'm pretty confident all three of the other surgeons are possibly above the four foot mark. But that, that was basically it for today. I'll uh, try and get some more videos when it clears up with the proper bit. I'm, I'm going to clean the filter today actually because I've been away last week. So clean the filter, should hopefully get rid of some of the prop. Obviously my brother's been looking after the pond while I was away, so there's a bit of maintenance I need to do on it, which should help with everything. And I was, on the other hand, I basically stopped now feeding as well. I uh, The temperature's dropped down to 11 degrees now, so I could still keep feeding some wheat German thing. I'm still... I've just finished cleaning the filter. You might just be able to see on the back corner there, the slot is similar on the back. Trying to find some of the other ones for you. Funnily enough, the albino seems to sit in the exact same spot that the albino did the last time I had one. Right underneath near the air stone in that corner there. Fortunately again it's, it's starting to get dark now with it being as wet it is. Oh, there we go, it's just down there, if you can just see it there. I say, with the Salatus, they do a lot of swimming around the edge, so it's quite an active fish if you want one. Keep trying to catch one of the biggest sturgeon when they swim past the soil to get an idea of the size comparison, but they've been doing it the whole time I've been cleaning the field, but the second I've stopped, <laughs> they've all gone. Anyway, thank you for watching today on this <laughs> rainy evening. Um, any questions, drop in the comments or message me. And yeah, basically, thank you for watching. Oh, and just as we're finishing, here's the Siberian. To give you a frame of reference, these stones are over two foot each. <laughs> yeah, he's a tank. Anyway, thank you very much.